In today's video, we're in a far, far, far away land checking out an interesting coconut house with the owner, Leslie, the lovely Leslie, who's going to be walking us through, talking us through her land purchase journey and her experience moving to Ghana. We'll also walk through this unit with the builder, BK, who's going to be talking us through the process of building one of these coconut homes. Hi. Hello, hello. We're in your very, very unique space. Yes. <laughs> and you're going to be walking us through. So just tell us a little bit about what we're looking at right now. So you're looking at a coconut hut. Coco what is a coconut hut? Tell us. It is a bit leaves. <laughs> leaves from the coconut tree. Okay. It's handmade mm -hmm. from the community. Okay. One thing I told myself, it will be unity through community wherever okay. I move to. All right. And so I made sure that people in the community is contributing to this coconut hut. So right. hand weaved. Hand weaved. When so I, we can see. We can yes. see that. Okay. And when I tell you these men, craftsmanship. Wow. Craftsmanship. And they allowed me mm -hmm. to record everything. Okay. So I was able to get them weaving. And when I say they could weave probably some hair. <laughs> Because it was so <laughs> impressive, like okay. it was just so impressive, and um, but yeah, so these are the co the leaves from the coconut trees, okay. bamboo sticks, wood. Um, I, there's a layer of plastic for yeah, the roof. Yeah, see that. Yeah, That's and open. there you go. And there a little go. porch. They even made me a porch. Come on. <laughs> So you can put some lights out here, yeah. seeds, turn it into a little so, vibe out spot. Mm -hmm. That's really yes. cool. It's really really interesting. But tell mm -hmm. me. So how come you live here? Are you going to build a larger home? Is this your permanent right. home? Tell us a little bit about that. Okay. So I wanted to come to Ghana earlier. Okay. Okay. But I was like, I don't have money to be in an Airbnb right. for right. three months. Because right. 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 it accumulates. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so I was doing a live stream on mm -hmm. my channel and my neighbor said, we're talking about construction. Okay. And I said, where did your workers sleep when you're building the house? He said, mm -hmm. a coconut hut. Okay. I said, you're telling me <laughs> I could be living on my land right now because yeah. the land is paid for. Mm -hmm. This was very affordable. Okay. And I was like, that eliminates the Airbnb. Yeah. Saves you a lot of a money. A lot of money. And okay. so I'm here while I'm doing construction. Okay. Construction here or on your other? So both. Okay. So I finished the wall on the other land because mm -hmm. I needed to do that within two years. Okay. But this is my first um, development. So this okay. will be a boutique beachfront beach resort. Ooh, yeah. I can't wait to see you on Jetty. Yes, honey. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I said, okay. for right now, uh -huh. I'll come do what I can, mm -hmm. which is build the wall. Because, uh -huh. um, you know, I Uber drive in okay. the States. Okay. So this is my little Uber money. Wow. Yeah. So yeah. I was able to do all this with the income I made through driving. Wow. So I'll come back, I'll go back, get some more money saved up, and come back come and start and do this to do more. Wow. That's yeah. great. So let's let's have a look inside, then we'll come Are back you? and talk more. There's mm -hmm. so many questions I want to ask you. Are you ready so, for this? <laughs> so let's definitely check it out. And then, oh. okay, so this is your latch for safety. That's, that's how you close it. Okay. <laughs> Push that. And then you open it up. Okay. You're okay. welcome. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Oh, so okay. Here, kitchen. Oh, wow. Yes. So, so it's all sand in here. It's all sand. So I, sh I told myself I was mm -hmm. gonna get flooring. Okay. I just never did. Okay. And you know, there's a thing called earthing where yeah. you just walk, and it's actually really healthy for you. Okay. And so I was like, I'll just earth it, and that's what I did. <laughs> but you could, you could get towels if you wanted. If to I wanted anything. to, anything. Okay. Anything. This is so, super, it's so cool. Okay, we're on the beach, yeah. but. It but feels really cool inside. It's a vibe. Yeah, it is. So here uh -huh. is just I, there's no refrigeration. Okay. So I All eat natural. whole foods. Okay. Yeah. So a whole watermelon, mm -hmm. whole pineapple, ground nuts. Okay, you know, I see that. Water. <laughs> yeah. Bananas. Okay. Um, but of course I have a neighbor, so they feed me sometimes, and I'll and even I'll I'll buy regular food and go cook it over there okay. and eat it. Okay. So it's not like I'm destitute. Totally. Yeah. <laughs> So, but here, my snacks is all right there. Over here, mm -hmm. okay. And then, oh, come that's on your bamboo. This yeah, the oh, bamboo. This is so interesting. Yes. But I'm, I'm wondering what this is like when it rains, because I see a few gaps. Does yes. the rain come in here? So, the rain comes here. Ah. But where I am, because we didn't have enough plastic to do the whole roof. Oh. So, the kitchen's the only area where the water, the water comes, comes in. in. Which I don't okay. mind because yeah. it's I just mean, my it's fruit. Just, and the sand on the bottom, so yeah. you don't have any. Oh, that's mm -hmm. super interesting. Even when I, when I clean this, I just throw water. <laughs> Like that, but that, wait, <laughs> this is interesting. Well, that's a coconut stump. It's a stump. Mm -hmm. Wow, you turned it into a table. Yes, so cool. 
<laughs> well, uh, BK, who we're going to talk to, yeah. he's so inventive and creative. This is actually his design layout. Right. And he put that together for me. I was like, I want a table. And here we go. Because my goal is to be off grid. And so when okay. I leave, I don't want to leave back. I basically want to leave it. Yeah, right. yeah, exactly. I want to leave it as if I wasn't here once yeah. all this is gone. Okay. So off grid, living with the environment, living oh, with the community. It's beautiful. And really, that's, really nice. That's it. Yeah. That's where I eat. <laughs> <laughs> so this is your. Ooh, okay. Yes, yes. <laughs> Are you shocked? You didn't expect this. You thought I was be sleeping you know, on the floor, floor like a dog. <laughs> no, 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 no. So, okay. And actually, I bought the mattress mm -hmm. and my neighbors, this is their bed set. Okay. So they allowed me, when I say unity through community. Yeah, yeah I see what you mean. Everything. Also, everything. I yeah. mean, even from the coconut leaves, the mm -hmm. trees are the community trees. Okay. So just because I purchased the land doesn't mean I own the trees. Right. So we had to actually get permission. Mm -hmm. to get the leaves so we got the permission built the coconut hut and then even this was donated from the community wow. yeah oh, that's sweet plywood is do donated everything everything so I, I bought the wood but everything else was donated wow. yeah yep, that's yeah. a lot of love <laughs> it, yeah. when i tell you ooh, <laughs> and then right i have a little closet <laughs> i'm telling you you guys we made it work and everything we made it work the ring light look at that I have my internet, MTN baby. Whoa, and everywhere I, you go. I have, uh, um, I have solar panels on my roof. Okay. So okay. that's how I've been surviving wow. and be able to still be connected on Instagram. So you can charge media. your phone? Charge my phone. Okay, and charge. then you can connect to the internet. Exactly. All right. Yep, and that's how, what else? I keep a knife next to me. <laughs> I just get shrink. you like, if I got Just it. in case. Just in case. Just in case. But I know you had something in here one time. And what okay. was it? I call tell it a chupacabra. <laughs> Tell us I about got, that. It was what I call a mouse lizard snake, <laughs> or a mouse exard. Yeah. But it was in my toilet. In it. In it. Not knowing that it was in there from the beginning. The whole time. How long had the you lived time. here at that point? So I, it was only my, my third day. I saw, I found mm. it on the third day. It decided to peek up and I said, what? So it had been there every time the you whole used time. Ooh. Ooh, And I didn't boy. know. So when um, BK, when I saw it and I said, help me, I'm about to die. So <laughs> help me, she, he came and was looking at it. And he's like, you know what? It's been here the whole time. Mm. And I was like, I'm leaving. But <laughs> <laughs> I'm because that, that, that's like so freaky. Cause you're, how sure are you that these things are not getting in here? How safe is this? Like, so I've in had terms two of crabs. crabs. Okay. Two crabs come in. Um, I kind of, so at, at the beginning, mm -hmm the leaves were loose they weren't as tight because they were green okay right okay. and so even this was taller so everything right. has shrunken since it's dried up exactly okay. so as it shrunk that's when things start crawling in yeah girl i had a a, a man crab in here <laughs> it was so big it was so big it dug itself out dug a hole and got out on the other side of my coconut hey. hood i said I'm leaving. I left again. <laughs> but how, how do you? How come you're still here? What's keeping you? You're trying because this is a lot. I'm, I'm I mean, really trying. Tell us what, what's keeping when you. You have here? little money. Okay. <laughs> Survival. When your so, resources are limited, <laughs> yeah, right. You just gotta press through. Plus, okay. I also it was a passion of mine to live indigenously. Okay. So I've been wanting to do it for a very long time. Right. So when I found out about the coconut hood, I said I can live my own indigenous experience yeah. on my own land. land. What? Save money. Get exactly. the experience you're looking for. Exactly. So okay. will I ever do this again? No. <laughs> I like the honesty. Yeah. It, yeah. But it's checked off my to do list. Yeah, to do list. Bucket list. Bucket really. list. Yeah. So I, it's done. I've so, done it. And I um, see your, your your window. So you got the plywood, then you got mm -hmm. the netting behind it. That lets right. in some light. Exactly. And then it gives you ventilation. Mm -hmm. But then even with these holes too, you have a lot of ventilation. Air coming so in. it's just, it just never stinks in here. Because <laughs> it's always ventilation. Yeah. And then when I first did the coconut hut, it smelled so good. Okay. Like I felt like I was just surrounded by just nature. Oh. Yeah. So I'm gonna send you pictures when it was green. Yeah, definitely. Um, definitely. But definitely. just the the smell of it, the the texture. It, I'm grateful. Yeah. I'm very grateful. So it, it, it worked so out. So unique. It's very different. Very unique. So and then he, the BK, he just so he told me there's no other coconut hut like this. So okay. he was, he said I did it too big. But I was like I like it, right? I'm grateful. So even in he's so in, um, innovative. Yeah. And even from I'll show you the bathroom from the bathroom. 
it's just amazing. Yeah. I just, I, don't know. It's, I didn't expect it to be this spacious. You know, when mm -hmm. you see these huts, they're usually very small, small. and cramped. But this yeah. is like really cobby. See, like there's a lot of space. It's not what I expected at mm -hmm. all. You, you thought yeah. we were gonna be like this? And then over there's the bathroom. Yeah. Over there, and then we eat right there. <laughs> But then I come in and there's a bed, a there's bed. a space. This is really interesting. Yes. I'd go with like floor tiles because, I mean, it's good to be on sand, but like right, constantly, right. your stuff, doesn't the sand get into it? It does. So yeah. that's one of the things I was getting irritated about. Yeah. But, you know, when I, when I do business in Accra, sometimes mm -hmm. I'm out there three, four, five days. Okay. So I've been here for three months. Hmm. Yeah. So, but the hut's been here for three months, but technically I've only been here for about 34 days out of the three that's months. That's still, wow. It's still, yeah, yeah it's still a long still time. Long. Yeah. So I think, cause I go back and forth so much, I didn't like put my focus on the floor. Okay, okay. Um, okay. But yes, you can put tile on the floor, whatever you want. <laughs> okay, you could have like a wardrobe or a dresser. Exactly, I wanted so to do that... all that before you came. But I was like, <laughs> I'm too busy. Yeah. <laughs> but it, it still worked out. <laughs> it does. Oh, so do you have lights in here? like? When it's so, dark, what is your light situation like? I have, so you see that ring light in the corner? Okay. I have a ring light and I also have um, like a flashlight mm. and then another battery powered uh, light, light in the bathroom. Okay. Yeah, so I have a, um, a battery pack. Okay. So at night, I charge it. It's, a, it's actually next door. I charge okay. it in, with their electricity okay. and that gets me through the night. Wow. Yeah. Survival so girl. <laughs> off grid. This is off grid, off grid. Oh. Except you have a comfy bed. This bed is not an yeah. off grid bed. This is too comfortable. <laughs> I bought this in Macassim. <laughs> That's okay. too comfortable. And then the, here is the bathroom. Oh wow. This is where the chupacabra was. I can't even believe he was in here. So is this like a normal, tell me about this system. What is it? Is it like a normal WC that is sunken or, yeah, or so, is it a type that? <clears throat> Isn't I want it so health wise squatting is healthier. Okay. So it's a regular toilet that they just sunk it. Sunk it in. They okay. just dig okay. a, a deep hole and they put it put in the it ground. Inside. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, once again another tree hump. BK's innovation. Wow. So it's like a little holder for your soap and all of that. Exactly. So cool. And then I have biodegradable um, toilet tissue. Okay. Yes, because everything goes there's a big hole with rocks. So everything okay. goes in. When I tell you I want to limit my footprint, that's what I'm doing. Wow. Um, and then here's a shower. With water. Oh, <laughs> so why are you tapping your water from? I actually have a water source. So I, oh, I, wow. I pay bills here now. <laughs> um, the water company. Okay. I, I got this done, what month are we in? September? September. So August. Okay. The city came out and now I have a, a water, water source. Okay. And they, just, they use wow. their creativity and their knowledge to <laughs> from all the way over there, which I, I can show you where it's yeah, from. Definitely here bring it in here and then you've got this is gravel I yeah, see like, yeah like rock oh wow yeah so this is when I shower so I stand on um, and then it just drains yeah, so what does it drain out of most of the time if I'm taking too long in the shower it'll just wash off here <laughs> <laughs> but it's sand so yeah, it just so sinks down, just sinks down. Okay. yeah and so the water either just goes straight Drains. down or oh, just wow. if it's too much it'll just come out into the toilet but it goes under the floor so yeah so it just drains naturally this is so interesting. everything is natural <laughs> yeah. and you've got your little shower mm -hmm. the popular i love sponge. this sponge I didn't know about this until I came to Ghana, really? to Africa, yeah. So I was like, what? We're missing this in the States. What the heck? Um, but yeah, that's somewhere to person. sleep, somewhere to clean myself, and somewhere, somewhere to, to eat. Nice. Yep, yep. Very nice. It's so simple. simple. I mean, you could live here, like live here, but then you need more like electricity if you want right. to store food and stuff which, like that. Which is um, possible. So possible. I actually could have electricity here. Mm -hmm. I can literally just take a cord um, yeah. what they're willing to do but i want it to be off grid okay. so I, I said if i'll just deal with these solar panels um this is not a lifelong thing this is just <laughs> Temporary. a yeah a How bucket list you looking to do it for actually i'm done with this coconut hood tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> you survived like you did the whole 34 I, days that that's not easy so and, okay but like you said you were in and out in and so out. it wasn't as yeah, yeah. so okay. consecutively i lasted five days consecutively that was before that was, was before he he came out yeah and want to show me himself so <laughs> so after that i lasted yeah after the five days i said i'm done i went to east lagon for a little bit recharged okay. got my mind right <laughs> and i came back and i came back better actually okay because i'm a city girl i'm from right. los angeles right. so i don't know this life at all 
And my mom. But it's a good experience. It is, and I wanted to have this experience because mm -hmm. I've always thought about my ancestors. I'm like, how okay. did they live? How did they do right. it? And this is probably the closest I could get to right. that feeling. Okay. And so I'm grateful I did it. And I will That's not nice. do it again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's come back out here. Okay. So this is the back, your backyard. Yes. So, so. <laughs> the side back. So if you actually right here, uh -huh. we're on top of the sanitation. Wow. So there's a, um, a long pole okay. that goes into the ground. So they, they dug a deep hole okay. and put rocks in it. So everything is everything just flowing. Maybe there's going to be a big tree go out of here because all the fertilizer. <laughs> <laughs> okay so, and then as you know i've i've done my laundry by hand twice okay um but for the most part i either wash my laundry next door or pay someone to do it okay so what when i do wash yeah i just you sit dry, here and it dries yeah i like this the coconuts all over it's so it is, oh natural, natural. handmade look they even yeah. tie things with their hand yeah. like everything is handmade even from the strings they tie the, the bamboo and the everything. wood together I'd really love to see the construction process. It looks so interesting. And I definitely have footage that can yeah, give you that. Definitely. All righty. <clears throat> and then here is my solar panels. Okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, so it's connected to your MiFi. Right. Yeah. So it's about five or six, I'm not sure. Ooh. Yeah. So when it's sunny, it's great. Yeah. When it's not, like it's been raining today and it's yeah. not sunny. So, so that means what you won't have enough power for the night. Right, and then that's when I go my ne go to the okay. next store and have okay. it. Yeah. Okay, okay. Because that okay. charger pack lasts me throughout the night. Okay. So in the morning, I just the sun comes out, put it back out, okay. and there you go. Okay, give me a second to put this back up here. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and then, <clears throat> ooh, don't fall, girl. <laughs> Okay, we're good. <laughs> and this is your window yeah, that's from my outside. Window. Mm -hmm. And then now that I have a poly tank, mm -hmm. um, oh, what I forgot to show you, there was a, another bucket in the mm -hmm. bathroom. Okay. So that was my water source uh, until I got So you got the poly tank. Yeah. So now that I have a poly tank, just got to fill it up. But actually, I'll have a caretaker here when mm -hmm. I leave. He live in the hut. He live in the hut. Oh. Because like. <laughs> It's strong. Yeah. Like, it's, like, I don't need to break it down. Yeah. So he'll be living here, taking care of um, both properties. Okay. Until I come back. Okay. And then we are back here at the porch. <laughs> yep. So. This is so sustainable. Honestly. Exactly. So eco-friendly. Eco-friendly. That was my goal. Yeah. That was my Because that's how it. our ancestors lived. <laughs> they were one with nature. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This so. is so cool. The yep, porch has, you could just put like some lounge chairs mm -hmm. with your beach and everything. It would be really and nice. And just relax. Yeah, it was really sure. nice when the wall wasn't here. Because mm. um, oh, this so wall just went up a couple of days ago. Okay. Yeah, so oh, this, this was, was all wall open. was supposed to be rammed if. Exactly. Listen, <laughs> do you want to talk about that? Do you want to share that journey with us? The <sighs> rammed earth wall. So, I wanted everything to be rammed earth. Mm -hmm. I try to do as much as I can while I'm in the States. Okay. Get everything organized. So when mm -hmm. I show up, it's just construction. Okay. I thought I did that. But when I got here, it wasn't done. <laughs> and this lady, she didn't do what she was supposed to do. Referred me to someone else. And then we couldn't agree on the bill of quantities. Okay. So basically what I'm have to pay, we couldn't, we didn't yeah. agree on. And so we parted ways. And I'm like, ooh, I have no one. He was like, do the bill of quantities yourself then come back to me and i'm just like i've never done a bill of quantity you know but yeah. then i stopped and I reflected i was like leslie you went to school for this it was okay. just so long ago i forgot <laughs> and, so, <laughs> and i was like oh i have done a bill of quantities before which okay. worked out so great because now i know more of the industry okay instead of someone telling me what to pay them exactly. i told others what i'm gonna pay them okay so it worked out for the best yeah. i didn't want to use cement but it's just okay for now okay. um and eventually it'll be covered with vines. Okay. So you won't even see the cement. And I, I'm still believing for the front to be rammed earth. All right. So I, I left it, I open. left it open. Okay. Yeah. Hopefully it works Hopefully. out. Hopefully. It, it, it will. <laughs> and then there's my water source over here. Okay. So um, I went through the process. A lot of things that you see I, I did on my own, right? Wow. So I went to the water company. Of course, BK helped me and told me where mm -hmm. everything was. Um, but I went, 
applied, got the application, okay. and the city came. This, the city? This man dug all the way from the center of the street. <laughs> all and tabbed it all the way yeah. here. Yeah. So BK set up my tab when I was, my tap, when mm -hmm. I was in the States. So this was already here okay. for me. Unity through community. <laughs> so, and the so city helpful. came out. Yeah. And the city came out and connected it. And so now I have a water, water source. Water source. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then that's tapped to your shower. Yeah, tapped into it. Yep. Everything's just underground. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that was a great day. Like to get what at the states in the states, everything is it's done. already connected. Yeah, here, we here. just show up. <laughs> so, <laughs> but for me, this was something so new. Like okay. I've never seen anyone dig in the ground and find the city water. What? That's like. Yeah. And so that's what I love about um, coming to Ghana and experiencing all, all this. these different things. Yeah. Because yeah. you know we're it's developed already yeah. here. We have an opportunity to develop, right. and so. That's what I love That's about this whole experience, yeah. Right. So Leslie, you have two plots of land here, right? Yes. Tell me a bit about the future of this. What do you plan to do with this? So eventually it will be a boutique beachfront resort. Ooh. It's going to be, um, what's the word? Semi-detached. Okay. There's gonna be four units to um, total. Okay. But it's, they're gonna be staggered townhomes. Okay. Yeah, and they're gonna twelve you twelve um twelve bedrooms all together. Okay. So each unit is going to be a three three bedroom, okay. um, two and a half bath. Okay. Yes, and it's, they're prefabricated, so it's nice. gonna it's going to take. So what material are you going to use? Should I reveal? <laughs> no, don't. You can tell me. You can tell just me. No, just me. Tell just I'm me. I'm gonna do. <laughs> so we'll show you when it's ready. We'll come back and then show you when it's ready. Definitely. Yes. So come back to check it out. Do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, so, that's so cool. Yes, yeah, it's gonna be four townhomes, two semi-detached. Who, who's your builder? Um, Ness Realty. I think he interviewed. Yes. yes. Oh, they're good. Yes. Yeah, so good. I. It would be nice. In my research, I came across them. Yeah. And I'm like, you're the one. Yeah. First of it'll all, be so it was nice. nice to speak with a female. Yes. She's so she's so she's so bright. It's like yes. Culture. Yeah. So, Did I say it right? Culture. 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 She, let me, she let me call her Culture. <laughs> she didn't even correct me. Oh my, I'm so embarrassed. What? Culture. Culture. Don't worry, guys. I'm going to get my accent down. Um, okay. So, yes, nice right, so, I'm excited. Right, that's so, so cool. That would be so interesting to so see. What? So, from. So my, I went to school for drafting and design technology. Okay, oh nice. So I designed my layout. Nice. And I brought it to them and they mm -hmm. just took it to a whole oh, nother level. level. Oh, nice. I cannot wait. So what I'm waiting for is mm -hmm. my deed. Okay. Right? Because I'm an Uber driver, folks. We don't get paid enough to build a semi-detached, you know, yeah. townhome complex. So I need to find investors. But one of my potential investors, he said, if you don't have your deed, don't even present. Yeah. Because, because uh, an indenture really doesn't mean no nothing to them. Yeah. yeah. So, as we know, Ghana, it takes time to do things. Yeah. And that's why I'm, I'm doing what I can with the resources I have. So I'm going to start the landscape. Okay. And so by the time the deed is done. Then you just, just hit boom, the boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that would be so beautiful to it's, see. It's, it's so, so beautiful. I have the renderings. It's can I can I look can 3D I rendering? Mm. Yeah, I definitely want to see that. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it's gorgeous. So I'm I'm very excited for, to share that. It, and the company is amazing. So I'm sure you get really amazing results. Mm -hmm. They have beautiful work. But I'm just so, sad that the coconut trees will probably have to come down when you're building. So probably from halfway, these coconut trees will go away. Yeah. So I'm trying to keep so yeah everything because. It's oh. going to be, I know. <laughs> so it's going to be staggered uh, townhomes, but on this side is going to be a multi sports court. So I'm okay. going to open up for the community to come oh. play football okay. or soccer, what we call okay. it in the States. And then this will be like a, um, a barbecue area. Okay. And then I'll have like eight canopies with like right. yoga areas right. and sunbathing. Yes. Definitely yeah, between the trees. I'm going to grow food as well. Right. It's going to be very natural. I'm going to bore a hole. Like, I want it to be an escape, a getaway. Okay. Strange from all the, the craziness. It's going to be affordable luxury. Yes. Because not everybody is rich, okay? Yeah. I could cater to that <laughs> side, but like... Yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. affordable luxury. Okay, hi BK. Hello, I'm Moa. <laughs> okay, so can you tell us a little bit about the construction process for this very unique home that you go over here? Tell us a bit about how you put it together. All right. Okay. So um, it's a coconut hut, the leaves, 
which are brown right now. They were green from the beginning because we take them from Fine. the coconut tree. Mm -hmm. This is bamboo that we cut into little pieces, mm -hmm. but it will not always be like this. This is what was available, bamboo leaves. Okay. We can use uh, wood, any type of wood. We can cut sticks oh, okay. and use. That's what I have learned from coming to this village. Okay. You know, but we use bamboo because that's what we have. Inside we have uh, bamboo. On top of the bamboos we have uh, the wood. This is two by three wood. The roofing is going to be on. Okay. In a normal building we'll call it pillars. But here in the coconut hut the bamboo sticks are yes. seven are pillars. Okay. <laughs> okay, so in every corner we have a pillar. Oh, we have a uh, one, two, three, four, five, six corners okay but we have also pillars dividing them to give it strength, strength. Okay. yes so um it took about three days to get all the leaves somebody owns a tree okay. so we had to go see them convince them pay them <laughs> and let them give us the leaves okay. before they weave they dried for a day or a few hours for it to like relax the leaves has to like be flexible relax if you don't let it dry for a little bit you're gonna have bigger spaces in them right. so we had to dry them for them to relax can you tell us a little bit about the foundation okay. what this sits on how strong is the support system okay this is just in it's not sitting on any solid ground okay because um there is nothing that's gonna be too heavy on it. Right. We have two feet mm -hmm. of a hole that the bamboo is in. Okay. So you dig two feet, put the bamboo in, and then just uh, bury that two feet with sand. Okay. So it's not sitting on any Anything. solid ground. The bamboo is giving it yeah, all the, the support Yeah, the bamboo is, is the, is the okay. leg, is the strength. Okay. Yeah, so it is two feet down. Yeah, that's about it. It's not sitting on any solid. So how, how long can, can this last for? Depending on the individual. Okay. Someone can change it tomorrow because of the discoloration. So someone will decide to change it because, oh, maybe I don't want the color or anything. So if you don't want the color, it will just last for about a month. Okay. But if you're looking for a structure that you can live in for a long time, I'll say it can do two or three years. Two or three years. Yes. Yeah. How, how safe is this? <laughs> in this part of our world, I'm talking about Africa, I'm talking about Ghana. Mm -hmm. I don't know anything that will push this thing down. Okay. In other countries, it would. Yeah, in terms of but, like weather yeah. conditions. Yeah, so rain mm -hmm. or heavy wind, I haven't experienced any type of weather that will push this thing down. It's not going anywhere. Earthquakes? Could an earthquake push it? Earthquake? We haven't had that, <laughs> that, that kind of thing. We have, I remember some. Years ago, we had a little shake, mm. the air trauma. That would not push it anywhere. But I, have, I haven't you experienced yeah. a heavy one, so <laughs> okay. I can't tell. But this is not going anywhere. Bamboo, everybody knows how strong bamboo is. So, and then also looking at the distance, just look from here to here, we have four. Mm -hmm. So we're giving it more, more strength. Right. Yes, so. If this one decides to shake a little bit, this one is there to hold it. BK, have you been building these for a long time? No. Actually, this is my first. Wow. Because um, I moved to this community, get into two years. Okay. And uh, I saw what they have over here. Mm -hmm. That's what they do over here. But I created this out of what they have. Yeah, so all of them, like I used the guys in the area to build it and mm -hmm. they were like, oh, we haven't built this, this type before. before. <laughs> okay. You know, they usually don't even put windows in it. Right. And I made a window, they were like, oh, a coconut hut with window. <laughs> and then the number of bamboo trees, mm -hmm. uh, uh, wood that I put over there, they were surprised. But I was thinking about security when I was doing right. it because I didn't want anything to happen. So I put more into it so it. yeah this is like my first coconut has <laughs> yes it's lovely it's so different Thank and you, you have your door that's yes. out with your <laughs> yeah creative yeah they, <laughs> your creative they, latch very innovative it came it came after we built it okay it was it wasn't the plan but we put there to secure the leaves from falling right and then 
I realized it could move. Yeah. So I decided, hey, let's it's let's use that to very innovative. close it. Yeah. And then you asked about security. I'll go to the other aspect of yeah. security. That is human uh, interference. In this area, it is secured. Okay. You understand? It is secured in this area because we don't have uh, thieves, intruders, and stuff like that in this community. So this okay. community is very, very safe. But in other communities, it is very easy to break into this. Okay. Even in, in uh, uh, walled houses or brick houses, people break in. Yeah. So, so when it comes sure. to that type of security, I, this Whatever. is not yeah. uh, anything Safe like, enough. yeah. If you had this maybe in, maybe a resort style sort of situation mm -hmm. where there's constant security, yeah. maybe there's fencing, yeah. Yeah. that would be okay. Yes. But to live in something like this in a yes. busy community, you wouldn't That's recommend. True. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, the, the question, you know, what you just say also gives me an idea, like, uh, a resort, like a yeah. beachfront property, yeah. where a lot of these, lot of these. Yeah. instead of building house, a lot of these yeah. like single, that would be a great yeah. idea too. The, the thing would be you would have to keep changing the fronts. You have or? to keep changing it or you have to keep maintaining it. Okay. So this, after you put the leaves, you can put lacquer on, you can paint it with like, it's just like a female nail polish, the, okay. the transparent one, right. the, clear one. the clear one. Yeah, you can spray with it and it will be like a coating on it. So it won't get old that as quick be. as it right. is getting okay. now. So preserve it for Yeah, everything. so it will preserve it for a long okay. time. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I, I like that it's raining now because we get to experience what this feels like. Like there's nothing dripping and True. it's raining, a it was raining a little bit mm. heavily, but then nothing's coming through because you're yeah. dumped. Roofing yes, we have yeah. we have two layers of the roofing. Yeah. We have uh, the leaves laying on the wood, and then we have plastic dividing it, mm. and then we have another leaf to hold the plastic down. The same with this, we have two layers. Yeah. We have a because if you sh if you should see the the, f the weaving process, yeah. the front is like smooth, and the back is where the other rough edges are. So this is the smooth side, the rough edges are inside, but when you go inside, there's another smooth, smooth side, side over there. Okay. So the rough edges are meeting together. Yeah. So these are two layers of uh, coconut hat. Yeah, that's really cool, because yeah. none of the water drips. And the bamboo sticks right. you see over here, you can see a rope in it. Mm -hmm. So it's, there's another bamboo in there that, it's tied that to. is tied to this one. Okay. So oh, this, okay. is, this is really strong, it's not going anywhere. So is it like the thread connects, okay, I see. The thread connects the two bamboos. So it's very soft, yeah. it's very strong. The yeah. only issue would be the discoloration, which yeah. you say the lacquer. Uh, yeah, fix. so if you do that, it will preserve it a little. Right, this is very interesting. So if somebody was interested in this BK, you're saying that unless it's in this specific location. Uh -huh. yes, so I was saying that because yeah. even in a community where I live, Mm -hmm. We have problems with people asking us, hey, why are you climbing my tree? Yeah. If I didn't move here, I didn't know that we had to ask, ask before. <laughs> yeah, so with that, I know that we have to ask for permission. Mm -hmm. I said I wasn't going to do it elsewhere because I don't know what is going on over there. Even with land, sometimes you go building on the land and then you have land guards coming to attack yeah. you. So this being a property, I don't know me saying yes, take my guys over there, climb mm. the coconut tree, and then another group of people come and say, hey, why are you climbing our tree? Yeah. And then, you know, so if anybody wants anything like this, they have to be 100% sure that whatever they are taking belongs to them, and maybe they will have to bring us the leaves. And then the weaving, we can do the That's weaving, right. and then we can do the building. If you go into details with land and property on land even with a, if you go to the lands commission you'll find out that if you buy a land and they have any cash crop on it like coconut oranges pan or anything that generates money if it's already on the land you have to compensate the people unless the land was yours before they came, came on the land on okay yeah so okay. if she bought this land clear and then other people come came, in okay plant stuff then oh, she wow. can Claire, but the, the coconut has been here hundreds of years like I, I heard the stories about it. it's been here for a long time Aww. so for you to just come and take their livelihood from there like yeah. the source of 
income, income or source of uh, feeding. They, it's just normal that you just okay. pay them for something. Yeah, the flooring, if you want cement, you can cement it. If you want tiles, you any type of flooring that you know can be done over here, yes. Okay. Any type of flooring at all can be can done. Be done in this. Yes. All right. But this is not very fire resistant, retardant. I'd no, say. it's not. Once it lights up, it's not fire fire resistant. No. Right. Especially in this stage where it's drying, it is not fire resistant at all. That so is why you don't. Up, that's why you don't bring fire, fire to inside. it. Fire inside. So yes. you shouldn't have a kitchen. Like you can have you can kitchen. have a kitchen, but also. It depends on the individual. Let's say I want to have a kitchen in here. There are things that I can put in the kitchen area. This is the wall. Right. You can put things on the wall. You can have, if you know of any fire resistant material. material, you can put it on the wall. It can be sold or attached, just like the way they attack yeah. this. So could you insulate this? Yes, I haven't. That's a question. I, I believe it can be done. <laughs> well, you haven't I tried haven't it yet. tried it. I haven't thought about it, but it's nothing impossible. Possibly. Yes. So, Vicky, how much would it cost to build something like this? This is like a sort of studio, one bedroom situation. Okay, how much so, would it cost? so this is a very difficult question. Okay. Because, like, through the interview, you asked if I've done this before, and I said, no, this is my mm -hmm. first time. And then this being the first time, we don't have the actual cost. Okay. Because a lot of the materials we used were something that I've used before okay. and I donated them to Leslie. Okay. You know, like all the bamboos you see, they were donated. And um, like the coconut leaves, people sell them. The weaving is sold. But my guys did all that right. as a... Um, help to a neighbor coming to the community. She paid, she paid some money. Mm -hmm. Like the woods that we have, this wood, the two by three woods that we use, we bought those, you know? And then um, a lot of things we did not buy. Mm -hmm. So for me to cost, it would be high. for me to cost this would be very difficult. But if you want me to give you a rough, rough, rough idea, <laughs> Yes, please. We can count the number of bamboo sticks over uh -huh. here. I think we have we use about 36 in all. Some people sell bamboo sticks for six cities up to like 10 cities, you know? So when they weave, like from here to here is one city, so from here to here is two cities. When they wow. do that weaving, yes. So when they weave like five, uh, I don't know how to call it, but like five, five. Uh, sets. sets, yeah, it's our five CDs. Okay. You know, so you put all that together, you see the number of uh, weavers we have. We still have some on the top. On top, you know, so that uh, I'll say thirty-five hundred. <laughs> yeah, I'll say about thirty-five hundred CDs. Yeah. For everything. Uh, yeah, for everything like. Everything, the bamboo, the leaves, the wood. The bathroom, the, the WC. Bath no, the, the WC. Yeah, the WC, but not the shower. Okay. Yes, the WC, but not the shower. So that would be materials and labor yeah. all together, yes. 3,500 yes. CDs. Wow. Yes, but when you were asking your questions, you asked about extra stuff that can yeah. be done to it. So depending on your specifications, it may go up or it may come down. Yeah. Right. Okay. So we, let's let's just put everything at say four thousand to be safe. If you're including a shower and then the gravel, the stones. That's yeah. so interesting. Like oh, in the shower. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, maybe so about four thousand CDs for something. Yeah. Similar. So it can give you about a sixteen by sixteen yeah. uh, building. Okay. Yeah. That's really interesting. Yeah, this is 16 by 16 feet, so mm -hmm. yeah, it can give you something like something that. Something like this. All right. Okay, thank you so much, BK. Thank you for taking the time, even though we no forced problem. you to do yes. this. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you found it useful, don't forget to share with your friends and your loved ones that may find it interesting. Hopefully, I see you in my next video. Have a beautiful day, a beautiful week, and an amazing life. Bye.